Well, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here in Jerusalem. This is a background uh, of the city of David on the, on the hills of the lower area behind us. Uh, then I have uh, Rabbi Weiss, the Sanhedrin spokesperson, and Mos uh, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, and uh, this is a very special time here in Jerusalem uh, in light of uh, President Trump's proposed peace plan that was uh, uh, distributed yesterday, and uh, and also in light of uh, the the fighting anti-Semitism event uh, last week. So uh, it's great to be here with Rabbi Weiss and Mohammed, and uh, thank you. I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here, blessed to be in Jerusalem. This is a very historic time in light of last week's world leaders uh, convening here at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum, for the event, a Holocaust Remembrance event, and fighting anti-Semitism. And now we have President Trump's uh, revealing a proposed peace plan that just came out yesterday. Uh, Israel Prime Minister Netanyahu has been in Washington, D.C., meeting with President Trump on this matter. So I am with Professor Weiss, the spokesperson of the Sanhedrin, and also with Mohammed Mossad. He, he uh, Mossad, has a wonderful story about his transition from a life of violence to a life of peace. And uh, Professor Weiss, it's great to have you uh, today to speak. You know, we could speak boldly about uh, the response from the Sanhedrin to the proposed peace plan and, and the role of 70 nations and what you're doing. So what would be the response from the Sanhedrin about the peace plan? First of all, we appreciate very much all what President Trump did for the state of Israel and for the Jewish people. Uh -huh. Only because of him, the embassy of the Americans is in Jerusalem, but maybe that now on it will be in the part of the Palestinians in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Only because of him, the Golan Heights uh, and the settlements, and uh, Netanyahu was pulled in, because Netanyahu could do it maybe 16 or 14 years ago, but he was afraid, he rejected it. Mm -hmm. Now, Trump showed the way. But we, the Jews, the Sanhedrin, cannot agree to basic things against the Bible, against the creation, against God, against the Jewish law. We cannot divide our, our land. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a chapter in Joel, mm -hmm. chapter 4, what yes. will be done in Josaphat, Welly to all the nations that are dividing the land of Israel and mm -hmm. Trump is in a great danger and the entire world and the Arab too and Iran too and the uh, Abu Mazen too is in a great danger because of this program. Okay, I understand the prophet Joel, uh, Joel uh, and that, that he's specifically saying that God enters into judgment in the valley of Jehoshaphat, the nations that divide up his land. So from that reference from the prophet Joel, uh, the God of Israel is angry uh, about those that divide up his land. From our understanding biblically, the covenant was with Abraham and his seed, not with Ishmael. And this is a very con uh, contentious, that's, a hard that's issue, true, right? But Ishmael is my brother. He is your brother, yes. Yes, and he's mm -hmm. the elder brother. Right. And I respect the Arabs very much because yes. of this, and it mm -hmm. will never be changed. Mm -hmm. All the Arabs in the land of Israel, from the Euphrat to the Nile, are community, mm -hmm. are maybe a nation. They are a nation, but they cannot get a state in Eretz Israel. Well, they yes, have I their own yes. rights, human right. rights, mm -hmm. They have their properties, they have their honor, everything. Right. And we are not jealous, we are not making competition. Right. There must be one economy, not right. two economies, equality. Mm -hmm. I understand. You know, a biblical view, uh, uh, Muhammad, is that, uh, you know, Christians pray for everyone and uh, we support uh, peace. And uh, this prophet, Yoel, Yoel, made it clear for those that want to divide up his land 
there was a, there's a serious problem. That's what I say. I can understand the issue. Uh, uh, you will say mm -hmm. speech. I, 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 I'm not making propaganda for you. Uh -huh. you, will speak, <coughs> you. You will speak for yourself, not for me. I'm going to say that the Trump and the politicians of Israel who are not going to be able to do this and are not going to be able to do this and are not going to be able to do this because I want to be able to do this ולא ידחפו למסלולי הטרור. הוא, מוחמד סייז, זה תנועות טראמפ, ונות דה ישראלי לידרס, וויל קורפרייט, וזה אבו מאזן אין דה פלסטיני אוסוריטי, בגלל שהם יהיו פושט לדה דרך של טרור, והם צריכים להתקונקט את עצמם מדה פלסטיני אוסוריטי ומאבו מאזן. And mm -hmm. to go in his way. Yeah, and from what I understand, historically, a lot of people uh, have bought into this idea that there are Palestinian people and this Palestine issue. I know historically, I was looking up this yesterday, that it was the Roman Caesar Hadrian that called this area Palestine, a, a derogatory, uh, an insult to the Jews. This whole area historically has been to the Jewish people, Judea and Samaria, but then he calls his Palestine and it creates this false narrative that there is a Palestinian race of people, but from historic, uh, historic perspective, wanted to make it clear for all those that don't, I think, clearly understand historically that there is no Palestine. Uh, Hadrian, the Roman Caesar, okay. called it that way. We said, uh, look, they can, Omer, if they story, אני אסתוב אותך, שהקיסר אדריאנוס, כדי להעליב את היהודים ולמחוק אותם, קרא לחבל ארץ הזאת פלסטינה. כדי, אבל לא בגלל שזה, זה היה פלישתים בימי קדם, בגלל שזה פלסטינה. אנחנו לא רוצים להריב, we don't want to be cruel, they can call themselves as they prefer. אני אומר, אתם יכולים לקרוא לעצמכם איך שאתם רוצים. This is not the main point of, the main point uh -huh. is the sovereignty, the main mm -hmm. point is the God's speech and is uh, what he gave to the 12 tribes, mm -hmm. the Jews and the 10 tribes and so on. This is the most important thing. Uh, yeah, now that I only bring this up is because for a lot of evangelical Christian people, They've been confused about this whole Palestinian statehood issue, it's you strong, know, strong, and, 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 and some of them didn't understand mm -hmm. uh, about the Roman Caesar. Yeah, he said that the Evangelists are confused or confused in a way that שאדריאנוס הוא קרא לארץ הזאת פלסטינה. אז אני אמרתי לו שהוויכוח שלנו איתכם הוא על הריבונות ועל השליטה ועל קיום דבר השם, <coughs> מה שכתוב גם בקוראן. אתה הדגשת את זה הרבה פעמים, שבקוראן קום אל מוסא, <coughs> או עם ישראל שאב אל מוסא, ארץ ישראל היא שלו. But it doesn't say that we should press the Arabs. It doesn't say that we should be overpowered and superpower and we should make trouble to people. Mm -hmm. Right. And so on. Tagin, what do you want to say? Okay, you know, the, the issue is about, uh, you know, the role of the 70 nations. Uh, just briefly, uh, what, what is this? I wanted to explain. Okay. We make, five years ago, 
a trial here in Mount Zion to the mm -hmm. 70 nations, and especially to Obama and the Pope okay. here in this place. But all those 70 nations which are mentioned in the Genesis, in the prophecies, they will come back to the temple mm -hmm. to walk God and to bring offerings. Mm -hmm. Now, all the law, the justice, the mercy come from Zion. There will no, never will be peace if not for Zion. The United Nation, the 70 nation is the United, the real mm -hmm. United Nation should be sit in Jerusalem. We wrote the laws of the international court according mm -hmm. to the Bible. What mm -hmm. are those laws? We are called all the nations mm -hmm. to attend and to participate in this court instead of Hague. And we call Hague and the United Nations to come here and purify themselves for anti-Semitism. Because oh, okay. if all those leaders that come here will go back to their countries like Macron and so on, I mean, go on with their usually daily life, mm -hmm. nothing will be changed. Okay, and uh, there's a very, very serious issues that we're dealing with here. And I'm also curious about, now you'd mentioned, uh, we've talked about before, evangelicals, uh, see that Jesus is the final sacrifice. I remember you saying that. It's, it's in light of Isaiah, the prophet, chapter 53, describing the Messiah. So um, what is the role of the animal uh, sacrifice we, and all that that has been going? We ask Gentiles mm -hmm. on the foundation of the institution 70 Nation to make a sacrifice because of Noah, mm -hmm. Noah after the flood make a sacrifice to save the world from flood. The world is now in a great danger mm -hmm. of superpowers, of mass destruction, and from the space and so on. And we have to pray all together that God for forgive his mm -hmm. children, not only Israel, all the mm -hmm. children of God, all the people in the world, <coughs> the Germans, the mm -hmm. Arabs, Anybody, <coughs> the Indians, <coughs> are children of God. Mm -hmm. And we came and asked them to make this sacrifice. Now the evangelics, some of them became angry <coughs> because of their belief. But I'm telling you, this is not a Jewish belief. But we, I told, I told uh, Glendon mm -hmm. uh, from Central America uh, that he is an evangelist in mm -hmm. Asli Sanhedrin. And I told him, if we will, we will never make uh, sacrifices to entice someone or to insult someone, mm -hmm. if you want, you can bring offerings of wheat, of wine, of everything, because we don't want to insult you. But it is allowed, and the, when the Jews will mm -hmm. um, erect, it, uh, will build a temple, there will be sacrifices. And the most things is that the same Isaiah says in the verse, it, it, it attached to the very famous that my house will be a house of prayer for all nations mm -hmm. is written that their sacrifices will be willingly on my altar. Now mm -hmm. there are many, many, many verses on sacrifices all over the prophets. And mm -hmm. even in this uh, prophets uh, that you so much uh, citing him, this is uh, 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 Isaiah 53. Uh, now, uh, also we talked about, uh, you know, Joel, just to remind people, to, yes. in chapter 3 or in, in your verse 4, yes. that describes uh, specifically of, of God's uh, anger specifically about dividing up the land. It, he enters, uh, you know, people that uh, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, the nations that divide up his land, he is angry about this. So now I'm going to get back to President Trump's uh, peace plan about which would be proposed really to divide Israel and in specific East Jerusalem as the capital. But President Trump, I want to make it clear to our listeners, it really doesn't believe, President Trump d doesn't really believe that this plan is going to be accepted. I would tell you a story at this point of Begin, uh -huh. uh, Carter, and Sadat. Yes. They ask Begin to divide Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And then Begin told them the story of uh, before a thousand years of mm -hmm. uh, the Rabbi Amnon from uh, Mainz, Magenza, mm -hmm. that the Christians asked him 
to change his, uh, to convert. And uh, they put him in a great pressure. Then he said, you know, I have to think about it three days. And then when he come home, he say, what I say, they will think that they really have some hesitations and so on. Mm -hmm. He didn't come and they took him and cut his legs and cut his uh, head. And he said, because my tongue said such a thing, I should die and not will change my mind. Therefore, okay. Trump, mm -hmm. even in an experiment, is unallowed to give such suggestion uh, to people that are not from this land, uh, that are not Jews, that are not from the Ten Tribe. It is a great scene. He has immediately to correct it. If mm -hmm. you want to save his nation, if you want to save his religion, if you want to save his life, is he must do it to take it back and took it back and prepare it. Uh, and part of that, we, we, invite, we invite people to pray for our leaders. Uh, for, all, for all those that are listening, we want them to pray for President Trump and all the leaders in here in Israel, for, for them to be able to hear God's voice and, and to be obedient to the God of Israel, his desires in this matter. But I wanted to, to highlight uh, Mohammed, and, and you've had a great story uh, about a, a change from a life of violence to a life of peace. Oh, and, 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 and you were a soldier in the Palestinian Authority, uh, in, in a life full of violence. How can people learn more about you? Uh, maybe your, your, your testimonial, your story. He started with Ashraf, with the PLO, in the first uh, Intifada. <coughs> okay. And then, and then, when the, the, authority, the Palestinian Authority was uh, founded, he was against it because of their corruption. Oh, okay. And of course, against the terror and the explosion. Okay. And the violence. He wrote, mm -hmm. he wrote a book mm -hmm. against the explosions, against the suicide bombing mm -hmm. and so on. And he got the concession of a great sheikh. Kibata mm Jaskama -hmm. And he got the agreements on it for mm -hmm. many, many <coughs> Islamic authorities. Well, you know, these are very challenging issues, and we appreciate you. Uh, it's a wonderful story, Mossamed, about uh, how your life has changed. We want to encourage other people in the Palestinian Authority, uh, you know, for them to consider peace. And you're a wonderful example of, of this, uh, you know, this change. And uh, so I'm going to finish for today to encourage people to, uh, they can do a Google search for 70 Nations and Mossamed. Uh, Mossad, and to, to learn more. Thing. We have an ambassador in the United States. Uh -huh. Her name is uh, Miriam Paradise. Okay. And we have in any con in each continent a delegate mm -hmm. that they are signing the scroll. Mm -hmm. They are members of the international court, and we start to activate this organization. And we call anybody private or institution, or family, or tribe, not only mm -hmm. states, <coughs> mm -hmm. Indians, tribes, doesn't matter whom, Arabs, mm -hmm. all of them can sign this scroll and participate in this organization. I understand. Well, thank you for uh, sharing. Um, uh, th there's so much to, uh, so much to learn, and uh, we, 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 we pray that there will be peace. Uh, very soon, for the, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and so thank you. And Mabruk, and, Mabruk to yeah. Trump, and Mabruk to Bibi, uh -huh. and Mabruk, because their intentions are very good. Yeah. But we say that the, the way to the Gehenom, to Jehannam, is with mm -hmm. good intentions. Yes. So be take care. It, it's, a, it's a blessing to be here today with Mohammed Massad and the Professor Vice of the Sanhedrin 
So uh, once again, please pray for our leaders and uh, the, the right thing that we've done. Uh, obedience to the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are so blessed. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, listening, for watching this. And check, check out more, as I mentioned, about uh, the 70 nations, about the wonderful story of Muhammad, Masad, and his transition. So thank you.